All right, so I want to instill a possibly new kind of idea in your head. One that might actually completely change how you look at life. If you would, for example, here in Belgium, that's where I'm from, or basically any other country in Europe, if you would say, I would love to do some sunbathing at the beach, and you would go in winter to the beach to do that, most people would look at you and say, that's really not the right season to do that. Now, we don't actually look at life as a whole like seasons, yet we should. Because also here, there are specific moments in your life where there is a more optimal and more ideal time to do something. Now, let's go to more of a practical exercise uh, that you could use. But let me first clarify and ask you one thing. If I would ask you, what is a currency in life? Most people would say, you know, money. That's the currency that most people immediately know. Money, however, isn't the only currency. And this is something that many people don't think so much about. There are other currencies such as health and time that you should also be very aware of. You are trading your health and time in exchange for something. Money you can always earn back. Time and health you can't. So you gotta be actually very smart and think more deliberately about where are you spending your time and health on because these are fleeting, these are passing and getting less and less true time. Now, this idea of living life um, as uh, seasons is something that I've been doing for about a decade or so. However, a, a couple of years ago, a book came out called Die With Zero by Bill Perkins, and he wrote about exactly this concept. Now, I am actually going to use something out of the book called Time Buckets. As a bucket, it's kind of a bucket. <laughs> You can only put so much in every bucket, in a real physical bucket. You can only put so much in it before it will be full. Let me draw a graph here to make it all even clearer. Okay, so here, this is time, which, you know, moves that way. You're born about here. And then we could make segments here. So here, let's say your 20s, uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Now, depending which age you are, this might look differently, of course. You might have to move it a bit. Now, in general, your health, as when you're born to when you will get older, will decrease. Okay, so this is your health. And let's color it in yellow to make it clear. Your health will decrease through time. Your wealth, however, as you get older, your wealth will actually increase. So this is your wealth. And let's put it in green. Now, why does your wealth increase generally as you get older? Because as you get older, like in your 60s or so, you've saved money, you're doing less, you're spending less, you're going less on vacation because your health is decreasing. And yeah, again, you're doing less in life. So in gener generally, your wealth will increase and through life, your health decreases. So this is very important to know and to truly realize. Allocate again the right activities in the right season. Your 20s and 30s here, these are great years to fill your buckets, right? Your buckets with things that require more health, like. Uh, traveling, climbing, which I've been doing in that time quite a lot. So I climbed a lot of mountains 
uh, back then. You know, a start up taking risks and doing physical activities then is a perfect time. That's a perfect season to do it. These are less ideal when you are like 70 or 80 or 90. These are a lot harder. Your 30s and 40s, this could be a good time. Um, just giving examples, right? Uh, to start a family, for example. Good time to do that, maybe, right? Good season. Less ideal to start a family and have children when you're 60 uh, or 70 because of, well, enough reasons to explain why. Fill the buckets in that season, in your 20s and 30s, 30s and 40s, 40s and 50s. Start already filling that in now, being maybe still 20 or 30. Look at the next seasons to come and allocate smartly what you could do now in this season that you're in, that you can do in the next season that is coming. And to end this video, the main big reason why it is good to start looking at life through that lens of life being seasons, regrets. You can drastically decrease the chances of you having regrets because regrets often come from not being able to do something anymore because of physical reasons, health reasons, uh, time reasons, lifestyle reasons that have changed. You can live a life with way less regrets if you look at the current stage that you're on as a specific season and to the next decade and so on as other seasons and see which one is smart to then do that activity or that thing and to look at the one that you're currently in and see what might be something that i can still do in this season that i can't do in the next season at all or any more or less easy i hope that this uh, idea that i instilled in you in this video might be one that opened up a whole different way of looking at life. One that, again, can hopefully also help you live a life with less regrets. Now, in the description, uh, you can find the book that I recommended in this video, uh, Die With Zero by Bill Perkins. If you want to learn even more about this concept, then that book is a great read. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, or if you're listening on the podcast, to leave a rating. If you subscribed, then I hope I get the chance to welcome you again on another video or episode. Until then, see you. Take care.